And take 911 calls from passengers aboard a Greyhound bus when the driver starts swerving and falling asleep. New tonight, West 2 Stephanie Culp has the calls for help along I 95. The driver is reckless driving. He keeps fidgeting. He's been fidgeting for an hour and a half now. He almost ran a car off the road. As the Greyhound bus erratically careens down I 95, a frightened passenger gives play by play to a 911 dispatcher. Sweating. He's continuously wiping his forehead. The driver, she says, is acting weird. Turned around and talked to us at the rest stop. His eyes were very narrowly open. They closed. They, they, I don't know. There's something. This is not normal. He keeps putting his head on the steering wheel and bringing it back up and jumping in his chair. There were 39 passengers on the Greyhound bus traveling down I-95 to South Florida Sunday night. Investigators say 59-year-old Richard Campbell was at the wheel. Okay, a passenger just went up to talk to him. They just asked him if he was okay. He said yes. He said he's just trying to get to Orlando. After a nine minute 911 call and 30 miles later, deputies and troopers finally caught up to the bus and pulled it over in Mims near the Volusia Brevard County line. Deputies say Campbell was under the influence and needed to be taken to the hospital. He's facing a DUI charge and could face child neglect charges. Since two children were on board. Stephanie Colt, WESH, 2 News. And late tonight, we received a statement from Greyhound. It reads in part We have a zero tolerance policy of any Greyhound employee using or being in possession of alcohol or illegal substances. It is inappropriate for us to speculate at this time as to what occurred due to the ongoing investigation. We are fully cooperating with local authorities and are currently conducting an investigation of our own.